Hello everybody and welcome to Geek Street Journal, the web show that tells you about interesting dates coming up in the week ahead. Before we launch into the dates, I'd like you all to know I have been reading Dragon Riders of Pern, however, as I was reading it, I figured out it's actually the first three books in the Dragon Riders of Pern series bound together, so it might take me a little longer than I was expecting to spend to read it, but read it I will and the review will come along maybe a little later than I might have hoped. Also, I was gifted the Sonic Screwdriver by a very short and good friend. As you guys might have remembered from my Tiger video, T Carolina Tiger Rescue video, I made myself 10's screwdriver and now I was gifted 11, so I have both of them, yay! April 16th is Library Day, and in fact, the ALA, or American Library Association, says that from April 14th to April 20th, it's actually National Library Week. Now, this date might be different if you guys are in another country, but it might be around the same time, so I'd look into it. I know I do have a lot of international viewers. But I usually go to my library, if not every Wednesday, then every other Wednesday, so when I go later this week, I will be sure to wish the masters of the Dewey Decimal System behind the desk a very good librarian week. In fact, that's where most of the books on the bookshelf come from. On Wednesdays, they give, uh, they sell books for 10 cents. So that's where most of those science fiction books came from. So definitely love your local libraries. On April 18th or 19th, it's Cow Chip Throwing Day in Beaver, Oklahoma. This is a weird one. In this glorious tradition from when else but the 1970s, people of Beaver, Oklahoma have a competition to throw, to see who can throw cow poop the farthest in a field. Some of them go like really, really far. The farthest one usually gets the point and if your disc breaks apart in midair, then the farthest piece gets counted. They also give you some really wacky prizes that vary from year to year. And there's a surprising amount of rules and regulations for something that we would seem, that would seem so silly. For example, your cow padded disc cannot be any less than six inches across to be a valid piece of poop to throw. Leading up to this great America moment is a craft fair and like a talent competition and a bunch of other local attractions. Taking a complete turnaround, the next day is Kindergarten Day, April 21st. It was founded by a man with a very interesting name, Friedrich Wilhelm August Frobel. I would love to learn German. It's such a, it's such a cool language. On April 21st, 1782, a while ago, some of you might remember, my older viewers know, you probably wouldn't, unless I have zombie viewers. Zombie viewers would be fun. Tell me in the comments, are you a zombie? <laughs> in 1782, uh, he was born and he ended up, this German man opened up the very first kindergarten in Germany in 1837. His idea was to get children accu accustomed and acclimated to the idea of learning in the classroom. His ideas at first were shunned by Prussian educators who thought if the children could afford a nanny, they should be with the nanny. If not, they should be playing outside, right now, class system oriented. However, his idea obviously is the one that stuck around as most uh, education systems adopt the idea of a kindergarten. And they help get children accustomed to the environment they'll be held prisoner in for the next 12 years of their life. My words, not his. His idea probably actually helped a lot of students who would otherwise be rather nervous about classroom education. And that's it for the end of Geek Street Journal. I am now going to go away and edit this video and read some of this and uh, see you guys next week for Earth Day is next week. That one is going to be really awesome. Bye!